I'm going to show you the JViewer, a JQT-based add-on created by Ed Gotsman that provides fast, integrated, structured browsing of the JWiki and the J mailing list archive, the forums. It also provides full-text search, including code search of the wiki, the forums, the J software repositories on GitHub, and the J solutions on Rosetta Code. Ed built the viewer because he thought that while the organization of all this information is perfectly fine, the delivery, that is, the rather awkward one-step-forward, one-step-back web-style user experience to which we've all become accustomed, could probably be improved. I've set it up to launch with Control-Shift-H, and it comes up pretty quickly. The interface is divided into two sections, a browse and search area on the left and a web view on the right. On the far left, the table of contents provides navigation of a category hierarchy. Nuvok is compressed so it fits on one screen, and the valence links appear as you hover over a glyph. Clicking a valence link loads the corresponding page. Note the slider in the upper left, which lets you adjust font sizes and other display metrics to suit your resolution. The ancillary pages come from Nuvok. The forums page provides a good reason to show the expand browser button. If you want more real estate dedicated to structure, you can also shrink the browser. The home category is the wiki's root. Beneath it is the organization I've been working on. Every category has zero or more pages associated with it. When a category has more pages than will easily fit, we use compression mechanisms. Tags are several hundred categories that don't participate in my hierarchy. For want of any cleverer idea, they're organized alphabetically. The mailing list archive is organized by forum over time. Pick a forum, pick a year, pick a month to see a set of threads. Pick a thread to see all the posts in that thread, and pick a post to see it in the browser. As a practical matter, it would seem strange to look for forum posts with this interface unless you had some special knowledge. When we get to full text code search, we'll see another entry point into the forum's browser. Bookmarks let you save pages to which you'd like to return. The bookmark button lets you add or remove the current page from the list of bookmarks. JSaurus is an experimental website based on Adam Brzezinski's Apple Cart. It provides instant searches of a small corpus of J sentences and was the inspiration for the JViewer's full text code search facility, to which we'll now return. Live search, as Ed calls it, lets you enter a phrase, either English or J code, or a bag of words or code, or both. So when I search for slash colon slash colon, for example, I get hits from GitHub and from Rosetta code. If I expand the timeline a little bit, I start to get hits from the forums and I also get hits from the wiki. I can use the drop-down to select from groups of hits, which may help me zero in on what I need, and I can select all again to see the full result set. These four checkboxes let you restrict results to one or more of the four supported corpora. For example, only forum posts. Selecting a forum post activates the Show Post and Thread button, which lets you see the post in the forum browser we looked at earlier. You can start with the initial post and work your way through the conversation. The Show Post and Thread button is a reliable source of time-consuming rabbit holes. The JViewer uses a 1 gigabyte local cache database called JViewer.db, located in J's temp directory, which is refreshed weekly on the server and comes down compressed in the background. You can keep working while you're updating your data. The viewer writes events to a text file called jviewer.log. Two buttons on the upper left tell you whether a new version of the database or of the add-on is available. Just click to update. Note that the compressed database is over 300 megabytes. It can take a while to come down. The debug log button turns on trace logging, which will slow down the application but provide a lot of diagnostic information. The log button shows the contents of the log. This is primarily of interest to Ed, but if you run into trouble, it might make sense to take a look. And in any case, if you send the log to Ed along with a description of the problem, it may help him to resolve it. For more information on the JViewer, check out the wiki page, and please feel free to send Ed a note if you have any questions. Thanks very much.